Ruby here and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be on this makeup look right here. I was inspired by my chokers because I have been wearing chokers every single day and I thought why not create a 90s inspired glam grunge makeup look. It is super easy to do. It's one of those makeup looks where you don't need a lot of time. It's easy to throw on and you're out the door. So if you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep on watching. To prime my skin, I am using my LMS Pro Radiance Flash Balm. I love flash balms, they add a nice glow to the skin, they also help protect against moisture loss. Definitely a must for people who have a drier skin type. Just gonna pat that in. And for foundation, I am using the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in the shade F100. One pump is all you need and it's a generous pump. I like to spread the foundation out all over my face with a standard foundation brush. This is my preferred method of application when it comes to fuller coverage foundations. Then with a damp beauty blush, Blender, I'm just going to work that into my skin. For brows, I'm using the Brow Definer by Anastasia in Soft Brown. I already have a tutorial up on how I do my brows and also a quick brow hacks video, so I will link it up above in an eye card for you to watch and I'm not going to spend too much time on my brows. Set my hairs in place, easy peasy. This one is by L'Oreal, I think it's the Brow Plumper. I am priming my eyes using the Kat Von D primer. I like this one. It's a nice orange shade, so it will help conceal and counteract any discoloration on the lids. I also like how it gives the eyes a nice warm base to work with. Today I am using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I am picking up this brown matte shade right here. I'm just going to work this all over my mobile lid using a flat shader brush by Sigma. I'm going for a very hazy eye makeup look with most of the work being done close to the base of the lashes to give the eyes a very nice smoked out look. This is the Lasting Drama Gel 24 Hour Automatic Gel Pencil by Maybelline. I love this. I'm just going to work that into the tight line. Just going to give my eyes a little break. Whew. Now I'm going to line from the midpoint of my eye outwards and then we're going to smudge it out. So you really want to make sure that you have a nice creamy smudgy liner to work with. Just using that same flat shader brush to smudge out that liner. I'm now taking the darkest brown shade in this palette and I'm going to work that through the outer V. This is so that the black can blend into the crease very nicely, especially on that outer third. I haven't finished the eyes yet, but I just want to apply some concealer on that inner corner of my eye and also underneath my eyes. Just so that the eyeshadow we're going to place on the lower lash line has something to cling to. It also gives me the opportunity to conceal the darkness that I have on the sides of my eyes close to my nose before I apply my highlight. Just going to reapply my eyeshadow to this area. Just going to take the brown that we used all over the mobile lid underneath the lower lashes. Just soften out the shadow. I'm now taking my Sigma gel liner and running a line across my top lash line just so that my false eyelashes have something to sit on. Onto mascara, I have the Studio 10 6 in 1 Perfect Lash. I love the applicator of this mascara wand because there's only bristles on two sides, so you can really get into the base of your lashes and just coat them right from the base straight to the tip. For lashes, I am using the Ardell 110s. I'm actually reusing them. They're not too thick, they're not incredibly long, they're just gonna help perfect my lashes, making them look a little fuller, more even. I like to come in from behind my lashes and lay them down. I then like to lay down the outer corner and then knock down that inner corner. I'm now using the matte highlight shade in that palette to highlight my brow bone. I'm also just gonna use a Q-tip to apply it to my inner corner. The translucent powder that I'm using is by Laura Mercier. Just patting it in with a MAC 133 brush. I have the It Cosmetics You Sculpted palette. I'm going to pick up the soft contour shade first. I'm going to work that underneath my cheekbones and also on my temples.
Going for a very natural cheek look. I think it's going to complement this look nicely. This is the Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Sensual. And I'm just going to apply that using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Complexion Brush. I'm now applying the IT Cosmetics Radiance Highlight. I'm actually a really huge fan of this highlight shade. If I'm not using the contour shades, I always go back and use the highlight shade. Lining my lips with the Lip Treat by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Iconic Nude. This is the best damn nude I've ever tried. I'm now using the 3CE Matte Lipstick Down. in the shade Old Dress. I think it needs more of a greyish colour. This is Very Victoria by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye!